name is Matt Bunting. I go to the University of Arizona and I'm in the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. And I work at the Robotics and Neural Systems Laboratory. So I'm a roboticist as, as both a, a hobbyist and, and a researcher. When people first see the hexapod, their instinct is to wave at it, which I it can't recognize waving. It, that'd be nice if it could. but. Um, <laughs> but of course then they want to stick their face in and move it around uh, since it doesn't react to, to waving. Um, and so it's very cool when, um, when you see a little kid like walk up and they stick their face in it and then the hexapod will look right at them and then they move a little bit to the right or left and then the hexapod will follow them along. And it's this very sort of chilling, like unearthly feeling um, to have this creepy looking, <laughs> this creepy looking robot uh, follow you along. It's like creepy and cute at the same time. It's a very bizarre feeling. In high school I started to use these really cheap motors and I wanted to, to build this hexapod, but I couldn't quite do it with these cheap motors. It just didn't uh, work out very well. Um, but when I was um, in college, I I took a class, a cognitive robotics class, and I, I remembered that I really wanted to build a hexapod. And I also liked the idea of having a machine be able to learn. So I built a hexapod that was much more capable than the one that I, I attempted in high school. I didn't want to program it with pre-programmed algorithms. Uh, so I didn't use inverse kinematics and force all the legs to move in the way that I wanted them to. Instead, I used this reinforcement learning technique called Q-learning. And with Q-learning, it was able to experiment in the world and figure out an optimal way to walk. So when I decided to give the Hexapod a makeover after my class, I decided that I wanted all the, the processing to be done on board and to control all of the, the, the 21 motors and to do vision processing with advanced uh, machine learning. Uh, techniques. I needed something that was very powerful. I also wanted something that could eventually run on batteries. So it needed to be power efficient and uh, be computationally efficient at the same time. So fortunately, CompuLab came out with the FitPC right around that time. So I ordered one of those and it has an onboard Atom processor, which was great. It could handle vision processing seamlessly along with all the, the kinematic equations to operate all the motors. Uh, usually in a hexapod, vision it, it isn't that important, but with the, the research that I enjoy doing, um, it's tying vision to legged locomotion. To do all the, the vision processing, the, the atom processor is great for that. Um, and I, I take the vision information, and based on how images change um, be between motions, I can get an understanding of how well the hexapod is moving around in the world. So using OpenCV, I've implemented a few different computer vision techniques, uh, such as uh, object recognition. So there's uh, face tracking on board. So you can actually take your face and look at the hexapod, and it'll actually follow you around. That was kind of a, a, fun, a fun little side project that I did. And for the machine learning, uh, like the reinforcement learning techniques that I implemented, uh, vision was used to, to measure the optic flow. So using the optic flow, um, it was able to, to take two successive images and figure out how the objects are moving around in the world. And so as a result, the hexapod could tell if it had tilted, if it moved forward, if it looked up or down. And that was all very critical for, for uh, machine learning. I graduated from the ECE department at the University of Arizona in May 2010, and they they invited me back for, for grad school, and they, there's great support there. So I'm I'm now in the direct PhD program, and I'm just finishing up my first year right now. I've taken what I've learned from 
building the hexapod and implementing uh, artificial neural networks to, to exploring other uh, legged robots. Uh, currently, I'm working on a biped robot, um, which is the is supposed to represent the the hind the hind limbs of a cheetah. And eventually, I'm going to expand it to a full quadruped, and hopefully, we'll we'll get the the cheetah to to run close to the speed of a, of an actual cheetah. And but it's again, it's a very daunting project, um, but it's also a, it's a four year long project, so I have a ways to go. I'm just taking it. Step at a time.